To the town of our free who rode a stranger one fine day. Everybody, it's uh, shooting shit air, and uh, today I'm bringing a quick review slash shooting test of the uh, Daisy Airstrike. I'm not sure the exact number. I know there's more than one in the Airstrike family. There's an Airstrike 240 I used to have. It's a spring action, but that broke a while ago. But the Sam's just bringing a quick overview, and then we're gonna do a quick shooting test. But uh, as you can see, it's, you know, like most Walmart guns, it's all plastic, you know, clear, orange tip. Um, the safety, uh, on the other hand, uh, I believe that the safety is metal, uh, the trigger is metal, and the fire, fire mechanism is metal. The clip is one of the uh, stick mags, you know, I'm not big on that, but I'll get into that in a bit. Uh, it has some, um, what I believe, uh... A BB release, but I, I believe you could also use it as, as a speed reloader. You know, you could hold it back and then it clicks into place. Hold on. And then uh, you could fill the BBs in and then snap the spring back and then you're ready to go. It holds uh, 12 BBs in one clip. You can fit 13 in there if you really want, but there's also a good chance it might fall at the bottom. Uh, what else do we got going on here? Molly. Yeah, it's basically just just one of those guns you get at Walmart. I believe in the box it's about forty bucks. Uh, it runs off CO two. Right now I got uh, Brass Eagle CO two in there. It's all right. Doesn't smell like the cost and stuff is. And uh, the hatch for that is down here. You just twist it and then uh, it becomes loose. And you clip this off, and it pops right out of there. And you can slip a new one in from the top, and the plastic holds it in there. Uh, the hammer isn't real. In fact, it's hollow, and you can see it inside there. I don't know if you guys can see that properly. Yeah, it's. I don't think it's made to uh, represent a real gun. I don't think it's a replica of any kind. It kind of looks like a... I want to say a 9mm, but I mean, not really. It's got the weird futuristic-looking tip. Like it'd be at a demolition man or something. <laughs> But, you know, I like how it has a real clip. You know, it's a, it is a stick clip. You know, they're not too great. But it adds realism how you can pop it out and clips in. It's not blowback, which, you know, isn't surprising. You know, you get what you pay for. 40 bucks, you're not going to get a blowback gun. Uh, this button, the mag release, is plastic, I do believe. Shoots about 350 FPS, I'd say. And nowhere online I could find a proper review, not even a proper name. I still can't find the name. It just goes by Daisy Airstrike. And I know there's more than one Daisy Airstrike out there. But I think I covered mostly everything. Uh, this is how the safety works. You know, you're red for fire. You know, this is basic stuff. Everybody knows this. But I think we're going to take this out to go uh, fire it and test it out. So what we have is a nesty can full of water here. Uh, two liter Coke. Full of water and an empty beer can, and uh, we're gonna test the uh, we're gonna be testing the airstrike out first. Uh, the Daisy airstrike. Um, it's there's a lot of airstrikes, so this isn't the only one. There's an airstrike 240 that's spring action. It's a really broad term. I can't find the exact name for it, but we're gonna see how it goes. I'd say I'd be standing from like 15 feet probably. Alright, well that's it, uh, that was the 12 round mag, that was the whole thing, so if we see here, it didn't really seem to do anything, I mean, it, that may be a potential dent right, uh, right about there, uh, the beer can, it seemed to have dented there a little bit, it did absolutely nothing to the, uh, the Coke can. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna bring the Crossman out, and then we'll, uh, you know, show you some fun but my verdict on this is you know you know i'm not big on it but i'm also not an airsoft player i'm more into you know game not game hunting small game hunting all that stuff squirrels this is not going to take out a squirrel you need at least i can't give the exact fps you're gonna you need pellets at least and you're gonna need a 22 to take out something bigger than a squirrel 
So this is, but for airsoft tourneys, it probably make a solid sidearm. You know, like I said, I'm not really into that, but I'm gonna be bringing out the uh, the crossman. So we're gonna see how that works okay, out. Now we're shooting the uh, crossman vigilante. Had that in my last video, but uh, pretty big fan of this gun. It seems to operate pretty good. We'll probably be going back 30 feet. I expect this to have a lot better accuracy. Rifled barrel. So we're gonna check this out. Okay, uh, that already seems to be evidently doing much better, but like I said, you know, it's not meant to hurt people. But neither is a Pelican, but you know, it's, you know, it's made to be more durable than a BB gun. But if we sear, we squeeze, you know, we get the pretty good hole right there, squirts out. <laughs> um, doesn't seem to be any exit wounds though, but if we check this out... This here has to be pretty good. This actually, oh shit. This actually went all the way through, through the water and everything by the looks of it, which is quite impressive. That looks like the exit wound, the way it flabs out like that. There's like barely any water left really. Uh, this can obviously, you know, devastated, no water in it. Nothing to really even the mass out. So it just destroyed it pretty much, ripped holes. Nice and nice wound right there. That's ginormous. Oh, but yeah. Um. Well, like I said before, you know the Daisy airstrike. You know it's good if you want to take it to an airsoft tourney, use it as a secondary. But you know, like I said, it's completely run of the muck. You know, it's not a not a replica of any specific gun. I'm I'm also not too huge. Drop the mag out here. I've never been huge with the stick mags. They're small. You know they break easily. They're hard to find. If you lose them, if you don't take good care of them. But I think there's a, a laser mount right here. If you notice. But um, thing about that is I read some reviews a little bit, like from the information of what I could find about the gun. And apparently you might need to modify it. It's not like really meant to fit proper like mounts like you know this is you see it's a lot widthier it's got a lot more girth to it sort of you can see the difference there sort of you see that like it's just much thinner there it's meant to actually put like a real scope on there you could actually fit one but yeah you know daisy's a half decent brand so you know it's a good to like sh mess around with fart around with you know it looks kind of cool besides the barrel's kind of corny but yeah you know it's that's my shooting test review sort of thing. I can't really call it a review on the uh, CO2 powered Daisy Airstrike. I don't know the specific name, but uh, Daisy Airstrike um, airsoft gun. CO2. Alright, see you guys.